Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Quickcraft. Today I am going to be taking an adventure up north to see Steve Pizza's builds and he's going to give me a tour because he's been doing a lot up in the north recently. By the way, the north is where the Ice Spikes region is and we, where we were originally planning to base in the beginning of Quickcraft. So let's go over there now. North is that way, but we're surrounded by a huge ocean, so I'll have to boat there. It's not that long of a boat trip up north. It's actually one of the closest places to the island. As you can see, there's a big iceberg, but once you go around it, you can find Steve Pizza's place. Oh yeah, I see him! Hi, over there! Hello! Come on up. See the new place. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go. I'll give you a tour if you want. Yeah, I was just saying that we want a tour. Um, can you show, first of all, can you show us how you get there? Because it just looks like regular mountains. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't put the stairs or anything in. I kind of want to keep the outside looking natural. Hmm. So, most of this is hidden, it just looks like the normal. Hmm. Up in here, there's a, there's another way to get in. You go under here, and back here. It's really cool. So, please show us around. Sure. This is the main room. If you come back over here and look up, you can see the huge ice spire. It's right outside. You see it? Yeah. Cool. Um, obviously we've got a bunch of furnaces, we have a little window, peek outside. The windows, notice how they're one block back, there's dirt all around them, and that's, again, so that you don't see the glass as easily on the outside, it makes it look more natural. And over here, this is the map of the world, what we've, we've explored so far. Oops. The purple part is the Mushroom Island home base. And we're at the north there. Hmm. And this room's still empty. I think this is going to be a dining hall. Cool. And then over here, there's a bunch of storage. But the real thing I've been working on is the mine. So there's mines and a cave spider spawner. There's actually another um, natural spawning area. I haven't really explored there too much. I've merely been doing it down below. So the idea is, I want to make this like a an actual mine, working mine, with mine carts. And over here is going to be the mine repair station. So if the repairmen go down here, they can see underneath the mine cart. It's going to be um, some storage space and workbenches, stuff like that. And there'll be some sleeping quarters. I haven't worked on those yet. And if you come back here, I haven't built this part out yet, but I was messing around. There's another natural spawning area in here that has a spider spawner, another spider spawner. I'm just not sure what it is yet. Lots of spiders. Where's the spider spawner? I'm glad you asked. There's the sign. So you see how I've been doing the mine? I saw this in um, another YouTuber's video. I'll get you the link to put in the description, but the idea was everyone always works on houses, and his suggestion is why don't we work on other parts of the world? Landscaping, or in his case, he did the mine sort of like this, with the lanterns and the wooden front. Yeah, and then this part around the lava, because wood is flammable, we put deep slate. I actually helped him out with this. Yeah, thanks for that. We also put iron bars to protect you from the lava, even though you can jump over. Yeah. It's more just decoration. Yeah, it looks nice. And then over here is a lava bed, and then look at the water on the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's glitched. It's kind of like a mini waterfall or something. Hold on, wait for me. I also helped you with this part. I actually built the spawner area. I used chests right here to have the 
spiders be able to not attack you because they can go under half slabs. You cannot open the chests because there's blocks above them. He also added a chest here so that you could put the string and spider eyes in there. The audio is still bad, but with Steve Pizza for a little while, we explored the places where he originally found the cave spider spawner. But we, he originally ended up with the shortest path to the rest of his base. Yeah, slime spawners kind of thing. But there's like this region where they so there's warning large slimes. Mm-hmm. I'm also trying to figure out a name for this place. Hey, Mr. Fickleton Fee's viewers, if you have an idea of what we should call this place, leave a comment. Thanks. Oh, I don't really want to explore much more because as we record this, next Tuesday, Caves and Cliffs Part 2. Yeah, I'll probably be making a video on that soon. Tour over. The next part of the video. Hello everyone. Uh, it's actually been a little while since I recorded the first bit where uh, Steve Pizza gave me the tour. As you can see, we've built deep slate paths in a lot of places, but some places still have not been pathed. So, for instance, like, all over here it hasn't. Um... So yeah, we are using slabs, as you can see here, because they're cheaper than full blocks. I think right now we are going to finish up all the paths. Let's do this. Okay, everyone, I'm going to be ending this episode of Quitcraft. Without further ado, like, subscribe, and bye! I really want to get this outro done before the sun goes down. Bye. And now we're going to make a villager trading station.